You know, learning to ride a bike is something many kids dream of doing when they're young, but for some, it can be really challenging. And that is the case for a girl in Wyoming. Brittany Flowers learned about the challenges she faces and how a new ride is helping. Good morning. Good morning, Teresa and Donovan. Every year, Mary Freebed hosts an event called Bikes for the Rest of Us. It helps pair children and adults with an adaptive bike to meet their physical needs. So, four year old Avery Myers now gets to benefit. Avery Myers' life has been anything but easy. So everything that Avery has in her life is adapted in some way or another. So she uses a wheelchair. She uses a special high chair at this point to be able to sit in, um, special floor seats inside. When she was six months old, a seizure sent her to the emergency room where her parents, Bridget and Rich Myers, learned she had a brain malformation. Doctors also discovered a genetic disorder. When we first heard about different things with Avery and it was just like one thing after another after another um, just realizing like this is who she's meant to be and so we're just happy she's here with us. Now four and a half years old Avery's parents are doing everything they can to make sure she still gets to be one of the kids but many of those activities don't come cheap. I continue to be amazed by how much things cost um, for special needs families. Mary Freebed has helped the Myers get plugged in with resources, like finding a special bike to suit Avery's needs. This is a bike that we put in to, to order, um, and we had a little bit of sticker shock when it came to what an adaptive bike costs. The one Avery needed was $4,500. The hospital was able to help offset the cost some, but the Myers still had to come up with $2,500. So a family member put on a fundraiser. The fundraiser raised not only that, but we are able to donate an additional $5,000 back to Mary Freebed. Now, Avery and her contagious smile can keep up with her two brothers and use those extra funds to help someone else. And Avery's mom says the extra money raised will go towards next year's Bikes for the Rest of Us event. And Avery will be able to use the bike for about five years. And through the program, they'll actually be able to donate it back for someone else to use when she outgrows it. Live in studio, Brittany Flowers, News 8. Infectious smile is, is correct. Absolutely. 100%. From and the from the moment I got to their house, I could not stop smiling when I yeah. met those kids. I know. You, you know, you, we all take riding a bike for granted, but for some people, they can't do that as well as some other kids can I, without the proper equipment. I think for the parents to see that, to mm -hmm. see her be able to do that, mm -hmm. it has to be give so them so much. Rewarding. Very rewarding. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool Thanks, story. Yeah. Bye.